Hi there, Gary Marsh here. Today's video, we will be attempting to stamp a leather holster for my Springfield 45 ACP. The stamping will be a skull I've only done once before on a beer koozie. Um, I am a concealed carry, and while I'm making this leather holster, I thought I would uh, talk a little bit of history behind concealed carry in the United States. So, without further ado, roll it. The history of concealed carry or the practice of carrying concealed firearms for personal protection varies by region and country. But I think I can provide a general timeline of its development here in the United States where concealed carry has been a significant and often often contentious issue. Keep in mind that state laws and regulations have played a major role in shaping the history of concealed carry in the United States. Here is kind of like a timeline of key events that I've discovered in my research. The late 18th century, concealed carry of firearms was relatively common during the earlier years of the United States with the Second Amendment to the United States Constitution, which was ratified in 1791, affirming the right to bear arms. Early to mid 19th century, as the United States expanded westward, concealed carry remained widespread and there were a few restrictions on the practice. The late 19th century began enacting laws that restricted or regulated concealed carry, often requiring individuals to obtain permits. Early 20th century, a movement towards stricter gun control began with some states prohibiting concealed carry altogether or allowing it only under specific circumstances. The 1920s and 30s, a, high, a series of high profile crimes, including the St. Valentine's Day massacre in 1929 led to increased federal regulations on firearms. 1934, the National Firearms Act was passed, regulating the sale and possession of certain types of firearms, including machine guns, sawed-off shotguns, and silencers. The NFA imposed strict requirements on their ownership, including registration and taxation. 1968, the Gun Control Act of 1968 was enacted further regulating the firearms industry and setting federal standards for the sale of firearms. 1987, Florida passed a shall issue concealed carry law which requires the state to issue concealed carry permits to eligible applicants unless there was a specific reason to deny them. 1990s, many states began adopting shall issue concealed carry laws which shifted the burden of proof for issuing permits from the applicant to the government. This led to a significant increase in the number of concealed carry permits issued. 2008, in a landmark Supreme Court case, District of Columbia, the court affirmed an individual's right to own firearms for self-defense. While this case didn't specifically address concealed carry, it had implications for gun rights nationwide. 2010, many states continued to expand and revise their concealed carry laws, with some adapting constitutional carry laws which allow individuals to carry firearms without a permit. Concealed. Amazing, right? 2021, the status of concealed carry laws in the United States varied widely by state, with some states having permissive laws and others having stricter regulations. The issue of concealed carry remained a contentious one, with ongoing debates about gun control and Second Amendment rights. Want to know some notable stories and events for each of the years mentioned in the timeline of concealed carry history? 
fantastic. I'm glad you want to hear some more of my storytelling. Late 18th century, the American Revolution, which was from 1775 to 1783 and founding of the United States, saw widespread firearm ownership and an emergence of the Second Amendment. Early to mid 19th century, the Texas Revolution, 1835 to 1836, and the Battle of the Alamo, 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 underscored the importance of armed citizens in defending their rights. Late 19th century, the shootout at the OK Corral in Tombstone, Arizona, in 1881, highlighted the prevalence of concealed carry in the Wild West. Early 20th century prohibition era gangsters like Al Capone and John Dillinger used concealed firearms in high profile crimes leading to public outcry for stricter gun control. 1920s and 30s, the St. Valentine's Day Massacre in 1929 where gunmen used Tommy guns drew attention to the need for federal regulation of firearms. 1934, ugh, 1934 the National Firearms Act of 1934 imposed heavy restrictions on certain types of firearms leading to the registration and taxation of items like machine guns and silencers. In 1968, the assassination of Senator Robert F. Kennedy in 1968 brought renewed calls for gun control leading to the Gun Control Act of 1968. 1987. Florida's adoption of, the, of a shall issue concealed carry law sparked a nationwide trend towards more permissive concealed carry wet regulations. 1990s. In 1994, assault weapon ban was a major piece of federal gun control legislation that prohibited sale of certain semi automatic firearms and large capacity magazines. 2008, District of Columbia versus Heller was a landmark Supreme Court case affirming an individual's right to own firearms for self-defense, setting a precedent for future legal battles over gun rights. 2010s, in 2013, Colorado passed stricter gun control measures including universal background checks and limits on magazine capacities, sparking a heated debate. 2021, oh, our favorite year, right, folks? The COVID-19 pandemic and social unrest led to increased firearm sales with many individuals seeking concealed carry permits for personal protection. Several states, including Texas and South Dakota, passed constitutional carry laws in 2021, allowing for concealed carry without a permit. I bet you didn't realize you'd get a bit of a history lesson, eh? Well, I figured if you were going to waste some time watching my video, then I might as well try and teach you something while you watch. Considering I'm learning this leather thing, I really don't have a, um, I really don't have the credentials to teach you that. So, but practice makes perfect, right? Okay, that's it for story storytelling today.